can the all new super fast Bosch Performance CX Race Limited Edition motor on this white E180 works get to the top of this fire climb faster than the standard CX motor on this Trek rail? And the answer is surprisingly, no, not really. Okay, so can the CX Race Limited Edition motor get to the top of a super technical climb faster than the standard CX motor? Well, not necessarily. We will return to talk around those statements uh, during the course of this video, but why then is this actually a race motor? Well, Bosch say that it's been designed for the demands of racing, and they've kindly offered us to explore and answer some of the big questions that surround the Bosch Performance CX Race Limited Edition. CX Race Limited Edition is a motor that is, as the title suggests, limited in numbers and likely only to be available on high-end flagship bikes. The motor itself is almost identical to the Performance CX motor, except the housing is grey and it has a race badge, but it is lighter by 150 grams. There is the same torque at 85 newtonmeters. There is the same peak power, but the software has been updated and now features a race support mode. Now this does mean that some bikes will no longer feature an eco mode because, well, let's face it, it is a race bike, but brands can actually replace turbo with race mode, or indeed they can configure the remote and the display any which way they want to. The CX race motor does not give you a faster top speed. That remains fixed at either 25 or 35 kilometers per hour, depending on where you live. So I guess you might be asking, what actually is the big difference? What's faster is the acceleration. All the action happens pretty instantaneously on this bike. Get all the momentum you need in a flash. The immediate response to pedal input, the rapid change of pace makes this motor a lot more potent. It's not hanging about for anyone or anything. This is your mountain goat. It's an unhesitating hunting machine. Now remember, when you click out of race mode, this motor behaves exactly the same as the standard Performance CX motor in Turbo, EMTB, or Tour Plus. And remember, the standard CX motor is already widely regarded as a very capable unit. All the displays, remotes remain compatible, and you will see no visible difference other than that which you'll see on the display. So, remote, mini remote, system controller, batteries, ABS, e-bike flow app are all the same. And you can actually tweak all the outputs of race mode in the e-bike flow app. So who benefits from the CX Race Limited Edition motor? We know it's there to save tenths and hundredths where titles very much do matter. But I think you could argue it's the kind of motor that turns a mistake into an opportunity. I actually think this motor is great for people that will unlock the potential of the power delivery in non-competitive yet challenging environments. And this is all down to what the faster acceleration allows you to achieve. Let's take a look at that in some detail. Now, some people just might describe the power delivery of the CXR as maybe unnatural, but that needs to be set against a backdrop of this mythical natural ride feel that EMTBs have been sold for many years. But this time, it is proper raw in-your-face power from the get-go. And it's only then that you can begin to think about tackling sections such as this. Yeah. It's not overwhelming though, but in comparison to an MTB, it's what makes EMTB so much different and, in my eyes, much more exciting than MTB. 
It's the difference between carrying a bike up a hill and having a new set of eyes on what climbs you can conquer. Oh yes, oh, <laughs> makes you so happy. Woo! So back to the question about acceleration. How much faster is it on the flat? Well, that's obviously less relevant than it is in a technical climbing situation, but nevertheless, when it comes down to downhill situations where you've got switchbacks and tight turns, it will allow you to exit the corners faster. And also, when you come to downhill sections where you might need to get the front wheel to clear an obstacle on the downhill section, then that's where that instant power delivery will come into place. But back to that initial question that we posed at the beginning of the video. Is the bike quicker on a fire road climb? Let's have a look. Okay, welcome back folks to the fire road climb, which we started this video on. So I'm now gonna do a back-to-back -back, um, white E180 works in race mode, and then followed by the track rail in turbo mode. Wow, so the times are in folks. 32 seconds on the white. Remember that's a stock out of the box uh, bike with Asagai tires. And this is the track rail, standard of the box. So 32 seconds versus 26.7. Wow, six seconds faster on the track rail with the standard CX motor and turbo compared to the CX race limited edition on the white. Now, I will actually put that down to the fact that this bike has actually got harder compound tires. It's also lighter than the white by, I think, four kilos. But also I think the fact that the CX race limited edition motor is actually designed for faster acceleration and not top speed. That's my, that's my gut feeling anyway. So one climb doesn't really prove much other than terrain and tires matter. But we also know that incorrect bike and rider setup will counteract the benefits of the CX Race Limited Edition. For example, in terms of the bike. Now, if you have a bike which has a seat tube angle, which is too slack, pushes all the weight over the back of the bike, or maybe a chainstay, which is too short, again, leads to a lifting of the front wheel on technical climbs. At the same time, you could argue that a rider with the right cadence in turbo mode will actually be able to climb more efficiently than a rider in CX race, in race mode, uh, with the wrong cadence. So rider and bike choice and bike setup are very key. The bike will play an equal, if not bigger part than motor speed. But all things being equal, it does allow you to make mistakes with such things as cadence, which makes it so well suited to places such as this. Some people have talked about the overrun, extended boost, and how you can ratchet your way up climbs and through technical terrain with this technique. Now, this can easily be overplayed. Okay, it works for a step or a rut, but climbing is all about flow and technique and weight distribution. You need to know how to hunt down grip, otherwise you'll simply spin out. Which brings us very nicely to that opening question. Will the CX Race Limited Edition motor get up a technical climb, say a world standard climb, faster than a standard CX motor? So we're talking race mode versus turbo mode. Well, it actually depends. First up, you'll need fast reflexes, that's for sure, because CXR is a pretty wild pony. Rider effort still plays a part, as does rider technique, such things as weight distribution and hunting down grip. Cadence matters, line choice matters, knowing the character of the motor, how to use the power matters, rider weight will matter too. And remember, finally, the bike, its geometry, suspension, tires and pressures all play a major part. But the bottom line in all this is the answer is yes, the CX Race Limited Edition motor will allow you to tackle technical climbing faster and arguably more simpler than the standard CX motor in turbo mode. I think over, overwhelmingly, it means you can possibly tackle things which you've not done before. Oh, yes! First time, first time ever. Whoa! Oh, I'm so happy. 
Wow, I'm so, I'm so happy with that. Obviously, it is one section, but it is a section I've never done, so... Wow! So there you go, CX Race Limited Edition motor, overwhelmingly quicker in technical and race situations. But don't forget, don't think of the motor in isolation. There's yourself and the bike to think about as well. But I think in conclusion, it simply opens up so many opportunities for riders, whether it be in a race or in a non-race situation. Uh, guys, if you've not seen the other videos we've done on the CX race, not forgetting the uh, technical climb versus standard CX motor, check that out. And also the video which we did in the amazing backdrops of Verbier. Thanks for joining us.